on this week's news update. A hand that grips like a gecko. Extreme heat threatens wheat supplies. And reusing reclaimed wood. First up, geckos are lizards with a unique ability. They can grip onto almost any surface. Gecko's feet are adhesive or very grippy, sticking to surfaces using thousands of microscopic hairs. Now, scientists have taken inspiration from Gecko's grippy feet to design an adhesive robotic hand. The hand uses tiny flaps to delicately grip objects without crushing them. During tests, the hand has successfully picked up a fragile egg, a slippery plastic bottle, and a bunch of juicy grapes. A version of the robotic hand has also been tested on the International Space Station, gripping objects in zero gravity. Handy technology inspired by nature's clingiest creatures. Up next, India grows the second largest amount of wheat in the world. The crop grows across the whole country, thriving in India's wet winters and hot, dry summers. However, a severe heat wave across the country is putting this year's wheat harvest at risk. In very hot weather, wheat can suffer from heat stress, a phenomenon that prevents wheat plants from forming any grain. With less grain available to harvest, India will be unable to export as much wheat as normal to other countries. This could contribute to food prices rising in other parts of the world. An example of how extreme weather in one country can have serious impacts elsewhere in the world. And finally, it's EcoZone. Wood is used in the construction of many buildings. But when buildings are demolished, lots of wood is destroyed or taken to landfill. A major waste of resources. To tackle this wasteful process, engineers have developed a specialized computer program. After the shape and size of wood pieces from a recently demolished building have been measured, the program creates a database that stores this useful information about each piece of wood. With input from engineers, the program can then help generate a design for a new structure. A design that is based on the measurements of the pieces of reclaimed wood available for reuse. A smart way of recycling wood that could ensure far more new buildings become environmentally friendly. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time.